Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fitch, and welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 3. We are diving right back in, hopefully soon, forming the Empire of Britannia. It's been a long time coming, and we just need to kind of, you know, take out Scotland, but we probably have enough war scores, so I keep on getting distracted with bits and uh, bobs elsewhere. Last episode was the Crusade for the whole of East Francia, which hopefully will create the Kingdom of the Holy Roman Empire, because I'm pretty sure... Uh, we take the whole of Bohemia uh, in this war, or at least the majority of Bohemia, like Bohemia and all of Sweden up here, which should give them the land they need to form the HRE. So I'm really hoping that they, they can do it, they do do it, because that would be awesome to see. Uh, as well as that, we are playing as good old King Antonius, uh, and his son is Prince uh, Edgar as well. Hopefully, he will have a good reign. He's 31, but he's in a military leader, and we haven't had a military leader for a little while. So hopefully, we'll be able to get our, our total uh, soldier skill all the way up, and we can go from there. Speaking of which, do we have any good knights we can recruit? Uh, we actually have a couple, uh, which we all do. We have that much money. Uh, to recruit all of these guys, unfortunately, but luckily these guys are pretty cheap. And uh, yeah, we just need to basically get our night quality up. It is already at 175% efficiency, so that should be pretty decent. Um, and yeah, the crusade is going very well. We're at 98% now, so if the Pope starts to lose it, which I don't think he can at this point, we will send more men over. Uh, but for now, we need money. We desperately, desperately need money. Uh, and we also have a new trait tier as well. Perfect. We'll take Never back down as well. Um, it's going to help out a bit at the advantage. It means we can lead men into battle quite nicely. Uh, we don't care about that. Uh, we don't want to change our succession. Inheritance, we're not too far fussed about. No one of importance we can imprison. Powerful vassals. So that's, that's this guy. Who's there. She's pretty powerful. He's pretty powerful. Uh, she's pretty powerful. Probably need to maybe do something about that. Um, but the Duke of Buckingham can suck it. Ransoms, we need these guys for the war. We could ask for a bit of money from the Pope. But again, I like having my piety. That's all my piety. We definitely want to try and create a few of these duchies. Definitely not the Kingdom of Ireland uh, or the Duchy of Kent, I don't think, quite yet. But everything else we'll try and create. And then the Realm Lost, yeah, we know that's in Ireland. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect, 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 perfect. You haven't managed my domain, which is good, giving me some extra cash. We're actually making 20 gold now, which is nice. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try and uh, convert more of Ireland or even some of uh, of Wales. But I think for now, we will stick around. And yeah, we, we basically have all the Dukes in. Uh, well, you you can definitely be... Oh, but you're so good, though, yeah. I was going to say, we could give her the, uh, the power of my steward, but this guy is 22. He's what's making me probably the most amount of money, right? Does it say how much he's making me extra? I don't think it does. But either way, he's probably making me a buttload of extra cash. So maybe it does here. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, we're also, also trying to murder the, the King of East Francia as well because we're third in line now because he's had some children. Um... Yeah, with Prince, uh, this Prince is third in line, uh, who we're trying to get into power because he's of my dynasty. Um, so hopefully, I mean, eventually we could probably just end up pressing his claim, like inviting him to our court and then pressing his claim and going to war for it. But obviously we don't want to do that. So only only a 60% chance. Did I not invite enough people? Uh, I mean, 60% chance is still, you know, pretty decent. Hopefully he dies. Yes, he does, Hazar. I mean, as I said, 60% chance is, is pretty good. So, okay. So, we have a little while. Uh, did we didn't get found out or no? We didn't get found out. Good. We have a little while now of murdering children. God damn, the YouTube al algorithm is not going to like me at all. Because <laughs> these things I have to say. But we are going to be, I guess, murdering these two. And then we should be in line. So, and again, people should hate these children. They don't actually hate them as much as... Uh, this child is pretty well loved, apparently. Uh, either way, we will start our, our scheme. Oh, my God. Just like my father, we will power through. My, I, I like to think my father left me like a legacy. He was basically like my son, Antonio... I have, I have done many things in my life. Some of them I am not proud of. But strengthening the family is my top priority. And you must partake in my lifelong quest to see the kingdom, the dynasty of Wessex reach far and wide. It'd be really cool as well if uh, I could get like with this sub house of the Carlings. I would get like a blood feud with them. That'd be so goddamn cool because I've murdered so many of them. 
Like, I wish, like, a blood feud would kick off. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, also, whilst this war's going on, we could also think about maybe going to war with the Scots as well. Uh, probably probably going to try and declare a holy war. Because um, that's going to give us the most amount of land. Probably the holy war for, like, this chunk of Scotland. Again, we could, if we get enough piety, declare it a, a kingdom war uh, for well, everything they're holding in Scotland. Which is, might, be, might be the way to go. The way of the mace. Also, again, you guys were... Because I, I do read all the comments that you guys put on my videos. Uh, you guys were telling me, but I was kind of speeding for a lot of these events. And I, I definitely do feel like I was as well. It's just I didn't want to... Uh, you know, I feel like we've been kind of a bit stagnant. We've been kind of drawn in loads of different directions. And I kind of felt like I, you guys would want me to speed up a little bit. Just so we get a little bit further in this campaign. But again, slow and steady. You know, it's, it's all about the game, right? So, yeah, I apologize. Hopefully, you guys won't mind too much. So the endless clash of metal on metal, the, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. Uh, it is a dance that is familiar as it is exhausting. To lift my maze, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would be do good to practice my skills with another weapon. Ooh, interesting. So uh, hand me another weapon. We could get wounded, which would not be good. Um, it doesn't really give me, like, I, I, I really want to... Uh, no, we'll stay with a mace, I think, for sure. Me and my trusted mace will not pass. It'd be really cool again. Like, I feel like this game, uh, it's just it's just like, yes, we're going to come in free updates, but I wish they had, like, the, the I don't even know what it was called, like, the, the weapons and armor and, and special items in CK2, um, as well as, like, there's just so much cool stuff in CK2, which is going to be great in CK3. It's just a shame. It's just a shame that it's not already in the game. Like, again, yes, it's going to come in free, free LC, which is cool. But, yeah, I kind of wish it was already in, you know. Kind of wish it was already in. Oh, what's this war for? A bit of land there. Oh, he's... But, oh, God, what a young young prince going to war. You know, like, yes, it will make its way into the game. But, yeah, as I said, as I, said like, I kind of wish it was just already in there, you know. Oh, we are also swaying as well. I, I'm going to definitely take your advice of just constantly swaying people. Uh, I'm not going to waste my cash quite yet, or I'm going to waste my piety, because I think we're going to need it for, for, the Scot for the Scottish War, for sure. Our Renown is looking pretty good. It's going to look way better, though, once our, our, our murder plots fire, and once this king dies, and then he dies, and then uh, my... Uh, yeah, basically, once this, once this king dies, then my dynasty will get Empress by marriage, so the sooner he dies, the better. All these children are of my blood, but not of my dynasty. So it's not going to flip to me. Um, ooh, interesting. So when the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of the king's castle. Should anything go wrong, a detailed map of the local farmlands with all the hidden paths and caves would be invaluable. Pay the hunter to draw me a map. Uh, 70 gold, we can definitely do that. Um, but there is a 31% chance that he's going to probably mess up we could also explore the farmland myself but i could get ill it's only a 10 percent chance am i just like on a on like a random trip to germany just like oh yes all these farmlands are very nice don't mind me just the king of england perusing around germany i'm not sure how much uh, the monarchs really holidayed in the uh, the 1016 ad's uh, i don't think it was re really something uh which, which is very often done. Let me know in the comments if it actually was. Uh, I guess we'll just pay him. Um, oh, when he gained the... Yeah, fuck, that's not good. That's the worst one, right? He's going around blabbing about his new wealth. Uh, luckily, our secrecy is still really high because uh, everyone hates, uh, hates the current king. Wait, did he just die? Oh, no. The king found out and murdered this guy. Ripped off. Oh my god, his heart ripped off. Oh, his head, sorry. For a second, I was like, oh, that doesn't make sense, does it? Um, what else do we want to do? That was, yeah, we we'll definitely want to get a court physician. Do we have anyone with really good learning? I mean, let's just hire another one. But we're no longer at war. Nice, our steward gains an additional uh, bit of cash, which we desperately do need. Like, I'm basically just trying to build up as much money as I can. Again, I need someone like, you're so old, there's no point getting this person. Yes, she's an amazing physician, but she's 57, she's going to die. I mean, I'm going to have to do this event again. Uh, so sure, you just you just become my man. Uh, of course, we have 200 gold, and here we go. Nice, let's, uh, let's do it. 
boom but I got discovered the secret went long into the night the search went long into the night before it was called off and uh, recovered at dawn it was only then the body was found bloodied and mangled and torn after an attack by some vicious hungry beast at least I hope it was a beast doing a beast doing oh my, I'm, I got discovered damn it so do I gain dread yeah I'm, I've got a lot of dread maybe we should go down the dread route of like torturing people and stuff because people get intimidated by me, which is pretty nice. Being a murderer is not great, though. Okay, so we are now next in line for this throne. So if this person gets murdered, our dynasty is then in line. So let's do it. After this long journey, my father's journey, after father's journey, it will hopefully be good. Also, I don't know what the hell has gone on here, honestly. Like, I have no idea. Apparently, this is like a band of mercenaries or something. So, I don't understand how they've become landed. But they have. So, there's that. <laughs> I don't really know how that's working. Oh, my God. This, uh... Yeah, surely this will give them enough for war score now, right? We're getting ticking war score as well. No, we're not because it's so much land. Yeah, I just don't understand how they still have not won this. 94%. We might literally have to raise like half our men just to go and win this. Just go and like siege the whole of this. Well, I might just do that now. Um, where's our rally point at over here? I might just raise... We don't actually have... We could just raise our man here so we don't have to go over. Yeah, let's just do that. Wait, why can I... Oh, there you go. Good. Last chance what to press our claims on Venice. Uh, probably not. I mean, how would that even work, though? Because, so we just raised the 6,000 local levies. That's not going to be the majority of my cash, right? Unless everyone, okay, whatever. Let's just split the men. We'll take just the siege half. So you guys go over and start sieging. You just go over here, start sieging Sweden down. I mean, you guys get disbanded. So we're still making money, not as much. We just need to win this crusade. We could have also, honestly, have just gone north and taken some of uh, Sweden up here. So 3,000 men, pretty well set up. Uh, we already are a crusader, if I'm not mistaken. We'll also bring this guy into the court as well, just to raise my army a little bit up. Uh, do we have a siege expert or someone who's good at supplies? We do have a siege expert. Basically, just looking to siege down these castles as quickly as possible. Because, I mean, the Pope is still doing his thing. I mean, they still have plenty of men, right? Yeah, they only have 10,000 men. We have 25,000, so... We're at 98% now. Seeker exposed? No. Oh, my God. I thought I had a romance turn. Now she's an adulterer? I might divorce her then. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to divorce her. Perfect opportunity, honestly. Yeah, we'll, we'll divorce her, and it's to him, the person we're swaying as well. Can I put him in prison? Oh, I'm going to torture you, my friend. Who even are you? You're the Earl of Old Buckingham. Oh, perfect. Because he's an adulterer. Yep, in my prison. You go, my dude. I mean, now we can marry someone uh, much better now, someone with much better traits. Oh, but the problem is, the problem is, right now we have one son. Even though he is a disputed heritage, we have we don't actually have that much land. So who cares if we have a million sons, right? Um, so let's, let's look for a new wife. I don't think we need alliances. I think our army uh, setup is fine. We try and inherit the whole of uh, wherever the hell this is. So let's just go traits. Let's go inheritable, and let's just look at the genius. Oh, a double trait: uh, beautiful and robust. Robust is better than what what we have. We only have hail. Robust is the one up from that. We could try and get both of them. Obviously, just genius. This is so good, though. It's just so goddamn good. Robust and quick. That's probably my second best. We've got a genius there, 39. Uh, a couple geniuses who are uh, fairly old. Yeah, maybe the... Uh, yeah, maybe robust and quick, I think. Oh, it's my cousin. Huzzah. Nice. And she's only eight years old, though. Probably a bit weird. Uh, but in incest is wincess at the end of the day. Uh, let's just get her. 
We'll get beautiful and then we'll just have, we'll have to try and get uh, the other ones into the uh, dynasty at some point. So we're at 90% 90 war. He's gone into my prison. He's 70 years old. Can we torture him? Is that going to give us tyranny? We also gain way more dread as well, which is pretty nice. And all his close family members get a bit pissed at me. And my bishop gets a bit pissed at me. Let's torture him. Me wife, though. And yeah, yeah, he becomes a 5% chance he becomes a lunatic. Doesn't get it. Well, this will teach you. Uh, this will teach you, my dude. This will teach you for sleeping with my wife and fathering my bastard children. Uh, we do kind of need both of these. We need prestige and we also need gold. I think I'll take the the gold because we should hopefully get a lot of prestige from winning this war, this holy war. Oh my god, how are they still fail? Look at all these armies. How is it that hard to win? I guess we're probably maxed out on a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, we're maxed out on battles, so we just need to win these sieges. This is fine again, a good siege leader. We got 35 advantage as well, which is very juicy. Oh, that's the guy we put in prison. That's funny. Oh, the Knights Templar want another settlement. They would pay me money. Over here? Yeah, I mean, why, why, I don't care about that. That's not mine. And it'll make the Knights Templar stronger. So yeah, sure, take take this. Or this. Don't know what castle you took, but either one. No, uh, no difference to me. Yeah, it's under mine, right? Yeah, they already have Gore, which we gave them. Nice, that'll be good. That'll make the Knights Templar much stronger, right? Because they'll have an entire other city to build up more men. Uh, they don't really have very good of that. Oh, the hospital. Who, who, did I make the Hospitellers? No, the Pope made the Hospitaller. Interesting. Because I'm, yeah, I'm I'm the Templars. So the Hospitellers got made by the Pope. Awesome. I've never seen the AI actually make a Holy Order. That's cool. How is the Pope looking as well? My son became charming. Not exactly the one we want, unfortunately. How is the Pope doing? Yeah, I mean, he's got 10,000 men. Probably most of them are mercenaries. So yeah, half of them are, are mercenaries. Nightly practice today. We are going to a field. Ride, bring me my armor. I haven't ridden on the quarter in ages. Uh, let's just do that. And I'm drifting apart from my friend. It's because I'm, I'm, I put your father in prison and I'm slowly killing him. Uh, let's try and be his friend. Who else do we also need to... Well, aggressive attacker will be so good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we'll go for aggressive attacker. We're finding some bandits in the forest. Sorry, there's a lot for me to, to do right now, so I maybe aren't, I'm not doing it. So that's going to fire in, in very soon. There's a very good chance of uh, her dying and then finally my dynasty getting put on the throne. And they're orthodox as well for some reason. I don't know why they're orthodox. They're in the Byzantine Empire. Who, may I say, like, look at these three kingdoms out here. Look at... Look at the, this kingdom as well. 25,000 men. 20,000. The Abbasids are, are pretty weak now, right? Honestly. And then the Byzantines have 17,000. Man, there are some scary-ass kingdoms out here. There really are. What happens when he dies, though? He is 56. When he dies, he only has one child as well. He will inherit everything. So, honestly, not too bad. <laughs> Would he marry? No, too far away. I was going to say, could we marry into that family? That'd be hilarious if we could. Actually hilarious. We just marry into that and then we move on. Okay, a child is often found lost in the woods. Please just die. How? How did you not die? I feel like the 95% chance is not a 95% chance. Yeah, I mean, we'll start again, right? She'll get more scheme resistance, but everyone hates her, so. I mean, as well, she might just die, like, of poor age. She's inbred and she's wheezing. There you go, end the crusade. End, end it, end it. And then she takes everything, right? Okay, well, I mean, what did she even get? We get a, we, oh my god, we're getting so much money from that crusade. And prestige, lovely. So she gains the kingdom of East Francia. God, I can't believe how much money we gained from that. Holy crap, that's insane. And then what did she, she just didn't even gain that much of Bohemia. Or did she? No, she didn't, right? Prague's right here. So she didn't even gain Bohemia. Did she gain the title of Bohemia? Burgundy. 
he's, so she also gained Crusading Kingdom, I guess. That kind of sucks. That was basically a wasted campaign then, really. As I don't think she... She gained some land up here. She gained this land up here. And I think that was about it. And she gained like a tiny bit of land in Bohemia. Uh, I, I, I thought she would gain the entire kingdom, honestly. Oh, I think she also gained some of this as well. I can't remember, though. Yeah, I mean, but, I mean, the money we gained from that crusade was very juicy, so I will take it. We should probably, if we had the cash, uh, upgrade some of these bad boys as well now, yeah. Can we upgrade this as well? We can't construct <clears throat> these quite yet, no. Um, so let's, uh, let's definitely upgrade our castles. So these will dramatically improve the amount of money we get. The fort level goes up by three. The garrison gains an extra 350 men, or 750 men. So we'll upgrade these castles. They're expensive, obviously. It's like 800 gold, but I think it's worth it. And we'll probably upgrade Winchester as well, just to make that a little bit more fortified. Or should, oh, we'll keep our gold for now. What's happened? So the Duke is revealing a secret to me of... Or I say that this guy... like No, I'll say the bottom one. Because he is like my strongest Duke, so the more he likes me, the better it is. Uh, is this a... A horse or what? The thing is, I don't really want this horse, so I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna lose some. I'm gonna get some, gain some stress, but we're gonna hold a feast. The problem is with, with the horse quest. I feel like it's kind of unfinished because, like, half the time, nothing really even happens when you do. Uh, nothing really happens when you get it. Uh, so I'll probably pick her, even though she's not the best do it just to keep her happy because she's pretty powerful um yeah like the horse quest is just kind of unfinished because like you have like you train it and stuff and just nothing really happens uh which is kind of a bit annoying do we have any more knights uh no no more knights I, we really need to get the uh the we're about to get it i think yeah king's guard to give us more knights that's gonna basically make our army very professional and we should now honestly be able to declare war for the kingdom right uh we have a few de jura claims um, oh, we need piety to do a holy war for the kingdom. Well, I guess we could go to war for a few of these smaller places in Ireland first, and then go from there. Yeah, we could just, like, press, like, his claim on that. Claim that, and then move down. But then again, I don't really know if that's worth it. Oh, wow. This guy's trying to kill this guy. Can I execute him then? Because now he's known as a murderer, just like me. Can't believe I'm a murderer. God damn it. I mean, I can believe I'm a murderer. I definitely am a murderer, but come on. Okay, 95% chance. And then all of our hardship has now been completed. We are overwhelmed with stress. I do not blame it. But finally, 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 our dynasty is going to sit on the throne of East Francia. And honestly, it's going to be even better than that. Because when this guy dies, the East Francia is going to be split up between four kingdoms. And he has four boys, right? Yeah, he has four boys. So we're going to have four of our... We're going to have four kingdom titles all in our renown. So we're going to be getting, like, literally an extra four renowned every single time. Which is going to be insane. Especially when he dies as well, we get another 0 0.8. That's going to be juicy. Um, I am going to see if he wants an alliance. Because um, uh, I will keep him alive. I'll fight in his wars. To keep him alive. We are overwhelmed by stress. Uh, let's become a drunkard. Let's become a drunkard to uh, reduce some stress. And he immediately asked me to, uh, to go to his war. Oh, West Francia. Wait, are we at war with West France? West Frankie is declaring war for this. Interesting. They have 10,000 men. Very interesting indeed. Okay, well, let's rally the men. We have 8,000, right? Which isn't a lot. Luckily, he did just join me in my war. So they obviously want this big chunk of territory. Luckily, I can now call this guy to my aid, who has 7,000 men. Uh, so let's call him to our, our, our war for sure. That's another 7,000 men. 
We can raise the majority of our men here as well. It's just, will, will we win a battle against them, right? Oh, he only has 8,000 men of his own as well. And if I'm leading the soul, if I'm leading the charge with my newly found knights, we must be, we don't actually have that good of a knight set up anyway. But surely with all my men, I should be fine. Luckily, this is the war target as well, actually in... Yeah, luckily this is the war target. So we'll raid our men here, sure, why not? Maybe try and catch some of his soldiers. Uh, East Frank is going to come to our aid as well. I think he's a bit busy fighting somewhere in here, but hopefully he will come and aid us as well. If I can smash the French army before it really forms up, that'd be huge. Uh, also, do I really want to lead the men? I mean, I'm so good. I'm not actually really even that good. Yeah, let's just let my other knight attack. He's pretty good in the open fields and hills, which is where this is going to be. So, If we can smash the French army now, oh, baby, that'd be huge. Before it truly forms up, it's going to escape. It's actually fleeing from me. Oh, we just got some mercenaries. Oh, God. If this army turns around, which it's probably going to do. Luckily, we're going to smash these mercenaries before they can get back in time. Uh, which is great. We've split them up their army. They actually built, bought some mercenaries. But surely can't... I mean, he's, yeah, he's losing money now as well. I mean, so we, we, we have money for mercenaries if we need them. That's going to be the mercenaries killed. I mean, hopefully we can catch this army before it crosses. Or we just siege out the capital. Is he sending men in the north or is he busy fighting his own wars? Yeah, he's busy fighting wars against Sweden, right? Hmm. I'd love to catch this guy, but we're just not going to be able to, right? Are they, are they, they're going to my capital, aren't they? We can probably catch their army, but as they come to our capital, you can generally always catch the enemy. Unfortunately, our new castle is not going to be built in time either. Uh, it's under construction, so... You would think they'd really be going for the war target more than anything else, right? You'd think they'd really be going for, like, this territory here, but apparently not. Are we going to be able to catch any of this? Oh, we're going to be able to catch these 2,000 men. Nice. We've really divided and conquered them here. I just wish you killed more in battles. Or at least at least when you won a battle, you, ne you didn't necessarily kill more. But you at least defeated them. You know, you at least, like, routed them so they couldn't just levy more men. Um, I mean, I guess I'll take it. We are still pretty good on supplies. Where are they going? Where the hell are they going? I don't know. I mean, oh, maybe they're going to siege Portugal from East Francia? And then brought me in his war against uh, them. That's fine. I'm going to war against Sweden. I need to obviously win this war first, though. Oh, it seems like there's an army. Oh, but Yo is raiding here as well. Interesting. Uh, so let's look at these battles. So we lost... Wow, the slaughter right here. Literally, we lost 100 men. They lost way more. Another victory here. We lost 95 men again. Another slaughter. Yeah, we have just massacred them in this war. Wow. I'm not even rushing my capital down either. Yeah, we're going to have to win this other war as well at some point. Um, I don't know what to do, though. I'm going to come and seize the capital, right? And I guess I'll split my men so I don't lose complete supply. I want you guys to stay. I want the other guy. I don't need... Do these both have catapults in? No. I want you guys just move around here and I guess siege this as well. Don't know where the French went. Are they also war someone else, maybe? Oh, they're, they're fighting a peasant... Well, they're fighting so many wars. They, they must have declared war on me and then the AI pounced on them. Must have been the case. Uh, we need Spy Master. Oh, that's a shame. I'm pretty sure that Spy Master was very, very good. Uh, it's her. So her intrigue's just as bad. But luckily, we no longer have to murder people. So there's that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And then we're going to switch this gal out for the other Duke. Who has amazing skills. Because, yeah, I'd much rather a much better Marshal than what we've currently got. Supplies should be real good. The, the capital is taken. Is that not the capital? That is Pali. But our war score is uh, looking very bad. Do we not do we not occupy Pari? I'm pretty sure we do occupy French land. Is there, is, is there another castle? Is this like the... Do I need to take all of this? Yeah, I probably need to take all of this. So this castle also adds up. 
And nice, the, uh, the East Frankian men are here. So the quicker we end this war, the quicker I'll be able to help out in this war. Who honestly, it seems pretty easy to win. We just need to make sure we... Oh, it's going to be a hold the war target of this. I might honestly just send 4,000 men over now. To go and stop that war. Because it's mainly just ticking war score in this one that is going false. You know, if they get rid of that, then the war is basically not lost. So... God, where else is even here? To, there's no other castles here. There's attritioning me. Like, I'm taking attrition here for some reason. And there's a lot of men as well. I don't really know why. I guess we'll just siege our way through here. And we are now finally got... Uh, I mean, we got the capital. You would assume that we would be doing pretty good. No idea where the French decided to go. I guess I need to keep on checking my capital. The longer they, they leave it as well, the better it is. Because as soon as this is built, it will just make London very difficult to take. I mean, already it's 1,300 men. It should go up to close to 2,000. Uh, I still don't know what to build here. Obviously, marches is really cool. But it's just not worth it. You just don't need it. I don't think. We could also spam the, uh, the archery ground and just make archers insanely OP. I've seen a lot of people do that. Yeah, we literally take... Why do we take attrition going here? I don't understand. Like, what's blocking me? None of these have walls. Oh, this is siege for someone else for some reason. Who is this sieged by? Does it say who's occupied it? Occupied by the Yol. So that's why we're taking attrition, right? Either way, I mean, we could just... What's, uh, what's the benefit? I mean, we get a bunch of money if we enforce peace. We could just white peace and go and win the other war. Because that other war is not looking great. Ooh, hello. Also, why is this kid in my military meetings? Basically, a military meeting's going on and they're arguing. Why is this kid currently in it? <laughs> I mean, definitely we'll do this just to improve everything, basically. Because we are a mastermind. Honestly, like... It's hardly any prestige and money would be very nice, but we just don't need it. Let's just white piece and make sure we don't lose against the Swedish. Because I think that's what we need to do. Oh, my wife is pregnant as well. And we need to rush over here and unseed these ASAP. Uh, so let's do that. Nice, my wife is pregnant. Hopefully a good son. I and mean, then if it's a very good son, I will disinherit. Like a beautiful Herculean son. Uh, then I will disinherit this son, I think. God damn it, we... Uh, this is the thing about Crusader Kings 3. Is you plan on doing one thing and then you immediately get dragged off in another direction. Oh, he died in my dungeon. Good riddance. Right, is that that guy? I know it's not that guy. The other guy in my dungeon is dead now, though. Yeah, correct? No, he's still alive. 73. He is in the dungeon. Oh, he should definitely be in the dungeon as well. How dare he be under house arrest? Sleeping with my wife. Who does he think he is? Uh, we can also probably ransom a few of these. So let's exclude this guy and then just mass ransom people. For some extra money. Uh, oh no, my good uh, Marshall died as well. Duke of Somerset does not like me, but she can take this position up. Good deal. Hopefully we can uh, turn around this war as well. We've got so much cash as well. I'm really happy with that. Uh, I guess you might as well just, just siege away and then you go to here. Nice. I'm so happy that we've managed to uh, to form a pretty strong bond there over in East Francia. Now what we really need to do is just try and get our, our, our not our claim, but our, our dynasty onto West Francia. And then we'll be in a very, very nice situation. Uh, we're going to be pumping Renown, basically. And then if we have, like, another good crusade, then we can move on from there. Like, another good crusade where we can put our dynasty on the, the throne. Because right now, I guess we will just go down the full blood route. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do we continue down the blood route uh, and get resilient bloodline, get this, and obviously make genius our more common trait, and then just grab this? Or do we maybe go down this route now and get fertility and we expect better educational traits? Or do we go down military... I think they're the only other ones I would want to do. Like, this is not bad, honestly. Like, this is actually pretty good. But I, I think we're good enough of our players to not really need the glory tree. So what do you guys think? Do, do we continue down blood or do we go down kin? Or at least down to this, like these first two. 
What do you guys think? Or do we go down military? Let me know. In the comments down below. Are there any other buildings we can grab up? Probably not, right? Uh, we can build up some stuff here, which I guess we will do just to make these a little bit more fortified. Yeah, everything else. We're waiting for our next tech to be five, and obviously we're probably not going to be great at tech. Yeah, we've only got ten learning. Oh, speaking of which, uh... Oh, she is doing stewardship. Which is fine. So yeah, she's managing domain. Give me nine stewardship, even though she only has... It says six here. I mean, maybe it thinks it's my other wife, which I guess I won't complain about. This wife is actually good at intrigue. Definitely should have uh, followed down that route at some point. And we had a son. Please be good. Oh, this is a good son. Robust and not hail. This is going to probably be my son. Give me a good Catholic name. Thomas. Thomas is a pretty good name. Marcus. Matthew. Matthew indeed. All right. I'm sorry, my son. I wish I could kill you. I can't. But you're probably going to get disinherited. Because my other son is just... Matthew is where it's at. He's a beautiful, robust boy, and then we get we marry him to a genius, an old baby. It's uh, it's all a go. Nice siege that out, which is good. We'll continue to siege here. Once this is gone as well, we should gain loads of war score, right? Um, yeah. Uh, basically, I just want to make sure that I I help his Frank here out in every every which way. And then he's also leading a war against. Oh no, he's supporting Bavaria in this war. Uh, do I have a spare son I could marry to you? I do have a nephew who could marry into her. And that would make him a king by dynasty. I'm sorry, my, my nephew. You're going to have to do this to the, the greathood of the uh, of the clan. Oh, God, God, God. I'm so sorry. I did basically what the Pope did. Um, and... I basically was doing what Pope did and not pay attention. There's no way I'm going to get there in time either. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, East Frankia. Yeah. Nice. We kind of got a nice little like, alliance block here. East Frankia, Bavaria. Again, maybe I could have married that match Linley. It's probably worth looking, honestly, to see if I could have married that match Linley. But again, look at that. 5.2 renowned. Two kings by marriage, one count by marriage, one king, uh, three dukes. That's juicy. Um, oh, he's running. Why are you running? Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll join these wars. I'm fine. Like, I'm fine fighting in these wars when it's about, like, when it's, like, for something, you know? I'm fine fighting in all these battles when it's, like, oh, I'm protecting my dynasty, you know? It's when I'm, when it's just, like, a random war, which I just could not care less about. That's when I hate the allies being brought in. Uh, hopefully our reinforcements can make it in time. We don't lose too many knights before that. There you go. Reinforcements turned up. That should hopefully turn the tides. The annoying thing is about this vote is that we're not going to be getting, getting many of our own our own victories, right? So he only has 4,000 men. We kind of have to stay here. Um, you know, I really want to go to war with Scotland. I really want to go to war with... Uh, oh, Sweden is being blitzed by Scotland, which is great. Because when we call a holy, a holy war for the whole of uh, the kingdom... Yeah... So he's taking the whole of... Oh my god, he's taking the whole of Sweden? Woohoo, baby. Scottish Siege Subjugation War. So yeah, he's literally going to go for the whole of Sweden. Brutal. And that means we would take the whole of that kingdom if we go for a kingdom war. Which I don't know if we're going to commit to, honestly. But it's pretty interesting, honestly. Yeah, we definitely could. We just need this war to be done. And the Bavarian War, I don't really care too much about. And honestly, if anything, we want this to win, right? Because, so, oh, she's attacking him, right? And we don't, don't want to do that? Because, yeah, we don't want to join this war. If anything, we want this guy to win. Because the Bavarian alliance isn't too serious. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm going to get over there in time. We still have, have 3,000 men as well. I'll probably disband half my army and go elsewhere. We can definitely go and attack uh, Scotland right now as well. Just maybe a duchy holy war. As we do have enough piety. We are also fighting heathens as well, which is going to be helping out a bit. We're at 40% now. Yeah, we just need to keep these Frank here alive. That is our goal. That is my mission. So, oh my god, there's so many random walls. Look at that as well. The Byzantines are continuing to encroach. Very close to Austria now. 
uh, almost touching Austria, right? Austria is like here. Where's Vienna? Vienna's there. Yeah, they're getting closer and closer. Which is super sad. I can't believe how like big these empires have formed out here. And East Francia as well is looking good. Like, this is the, the, the... I've never seen the kingdom stay this well together before. If I'm being completely honest. Um, so this war has to be won, right? They must have no more men. Yeah, 1,100 men. You should be fine in that. Now, do we want to help out in any other wars? Obviously, this war is probably pretty good to help out in. I mean, do we... I mean, Bavaria... The thing is, I don't want Bavaria to win and take this clump from East Francia. So I might just leave them Bavarian wars. Disband my men. Maybe keep 3,000 men here. Um, no, probably just ban my men, wait the, the couple allotted months, and then we'll go to war with Scotland. Because Scotland must be busy right now. Uh, we can holy war for the entire kingdom as well if we wanted to. Or do we wait? I think we wait, right? I think we wait until they, they've won their war against Sweden. Because they're at 68%. Because as soon as they're done with that war, then we can then just take the whole of this and then form Britannia, right? There'll be some little bits here, and then there'll be obviously... Oh, look at Frisia as well. That's hilarious. And you, ooh, a Blade Master, 20 Marshall. Welcome. 16 Marshall as well. Not bad. I mean, we don't exactly have the best knights in the world, but we have some knights, so there's that. Internally, we haven't really done too much internal politics recently. Um, this guy's in my prison. A few guys who aren't my biggest fan. Do I own... Oh no, this is uh, this is Wessex, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We've got eight thousand men. It's obviously going to take a little bit of time to come back. And as I said, I really probably want to tr just. I really want to kill Scotland, but I think this is better to wait. Bide our time. We are still only thirty-seven, so we still got a long life ahead of us. Yeah, no one important, but we can. We can ransom this L. I said, he's going to die in my prison, in my dungeon. He's 75. He somehow is still alive. He's near death. Oh, yeah. Do we want to create these duchies as well? I think we do. I thought I already created Lancaster as well. Did it get destroyed or something? We're definitely going to create Lancaster for sure. And the duchy down here as well. Yeah, we'll create both of these. Give us a bunch of prestige. Uh, so you, my gal. Right, there's no one else I can give it to. You, uh, welcome. You are now a duke. Uh, and then of Pal, which is like this territory here. We'll give over to him. Nice. So a few more powerful allies. Nice. Managed to win that war with East Francia. So that's it. That's their main war one. Hopefully they can then, uh, hopefully then they can just seize their, their time and, um, yeah, really build their men a little bit. Perfect. That's a good war. Security Frankia's domain. Hopefully they can now just build up some extra men. Uh, nice. He's already a duke as well. That's also what's going to be really good. Is because our dynasty is spreading very far and wide in East Frankia. He's going to give like a lot of this land to other people as well. Which is really nice. Who the hell are you? Why am I tutoring you? Who are you? You're not even... I don't even know who you are. A central proposal. Whenever I go, my knight Leo wine is sure to follow that look in his eye, the words on his lip. I know exactly what he is after. Leo Wall, you cheeky devil, you're married to my cousin. You're 52 years old, you're gluttonous. You're trusting and brave, though. And what am I? Am I brave? I'm also brave. Oh, I'm also callous, which means I can murder my children, no? I thought callous meant you can murder your children. I thought callous meant you can murder your children. I guess not, though. We are also very dreaded. Which is nice. I swear it meant you could murder your children. Maybe when, they're, maybe when they're of age, you can. Um, a distraction tonight, but nothing more. You know, I, we, we, we're knights, you know. We're in the trenches together. We're fighting on the battlefield. And my wife just can't relate to that. So I think a distraction for tonight, you know, but, but nothing more. 
Leo Wolf and I crouch side by side, the powerful boar in front of us. Unaware of the present, my own attention is on me, especially Leo's shirt brushes against me. When I reach over to embrace him, I find that he also had attention elsewhere. As the boar disappears into the farmland, our naked flesh is already cradled by soft earth. It was a lovely night, Leo Wolf, but nothing more. Nothing more, I tell you. So who the hell are you? God damn. Yeah, so hopefully you'll land all my sons and I just get loads of jukes around here that can just spread their seed. The seed is uh, going... Oh, my... Uh... My sister is in prison, which is not great. You already betrothed, which is fine. Yeah, so that's, what, that's probably why we're gaining all of this. Yeah, three kings by marriage now, right? Yeah, so East Francia, West Francia, and Bavaria are all giving me, me the kings. Which is nice. Gaining five renown is so fast. The other wars don't really care about. This war I want him to lose. I'd much rather she wins. Because uh, she will take this bit of land. And then that'll be good. East Francia seems like they're going to go win that war for them. And if East Francia get into trouble elsewhere, I'll be there to help them. Bohemia is looking pretty scary though. That is for sure. Are you guys close to winning your war? 91% chance. We should honestly wait, you know. I don't think I don't think we should uh, overcommit to that. Is there any internal affairs I really want to do? We should definitely be swaying someone. I don't know why I'm not swaying. Let's try and uh, yeah improve our relationship with our vassals. He wants to see on the council. But he's just a nobody. I mean, he has 1,400 men, but he is a nobody. Um, oh, a young duke here. Let's uh, educate him. Ourselves, right? Half a guardship. Do I, can I not? I mean, we'll do my wife maybe. Uh, but he's gonna have an affair with my wife, isn't he? I can already see it happening. Let's uh, let's seduce our wife. Actually, as our plot. There's romance. Uh, apparently, with zero percent chance because she's craven. Oh yeah, it's not gonna happen. Then she's craven, and I'm brave. There's no way we fall in love. We're just not a love match made uh, to happen. He's gonna hundred percent. This little shit. This little eight year old. Hundred percent gonna bang my wife. Oh nice as well. Someone's uh, taking. Essex for me, I think. Stockpile for a bit of cash. I mean, we're not at war yet, but that's five years of extra supplies or capacity, which is very nice. Supply duration mode is way better. My soldiers will can forage for sure. Nice, that would have been increased our, our power over Bavaria. And then it's just this war still raging on. Yeah. Which is all good. Nice. Well, this campaign is going... Okay, Scotland won now as well. So let's start the mega war against Scotland, right? We have enough piety, I think. Oh, we're not high enough devotion level, which is never going to happen. God damn it. We can duchy war, though. I guess we'll, we'll duchy war. Let's be level four and we're level, like, three. So we need to go up two more levels, which is just not going to happen, right? Yeah, we're currently faithful. So we're at level two and we need to get up to level four. Not going to happen. Damn. That sucks. I would have loved to have taken. Because if we could have done a holy war for all of that. We could have just taken the whole of Scotland in one big war. Would have been huge. Now it's going to be difficult. Because Scotland now has the whole of... Uh... Yeah, they have a lot of men. They have 16,000 men. Whew. That's a lot. 16,000 men. 700 gold in the bank for mercenaries. Yeah, we're going to have to do some thinking. But that'll be for the next episode. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. Um, we're going to definitely take on Scotland next episode. I guess for the uh, Holy Duchy War. Um, probably for... I mean, it's nice now because we can declare these Duchy Wars. And they're a little bit more... Um, a little bit more together now. So we can declare like for this. And we take a decent chunk bit by bit. Yeah, I mean, that'd be nice as well. But yeah, now there's no, like, funky borders whatsoever. So we'll probably go for, like, uh, this first and then go for Albion. And just kind of work our way up and then go for this. We have 13,000 men, though. We probably have kind of similar amounts with our when our vassals, sorry, when our allies are all up to full strength. We could also probably force this king as well uh, to be our vassal, uh, be our ally as well. So bring in East Francia and West Francia. Even though they do have hardly any men levied right now. But we definitely, definitely could. 
Yeah, cool. Awesome. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I promise the Kingdom of England will be, uh, Kingdom of Britannia will be formed. It's just, you know, we've been, we've been spreading the seed elsewhere. This has been a long time coming. We finally now have, you know, got our dynasty on, on East Francia, and then hopefully on all these other kingdoms as well. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I, I can't wait to see, I kind of guess this break apart. And then maybe a king will form the HRE at some point. Who knows? I have no idea, but hopefully one does. Uh, oh, yeah, you also need to get rid of our stress as well. We'll do that next episode. Oh, we lost our stress. Perfect. Uh, cool. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. And fish out.